And now, America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicki C. and Cerullo. What are you doing? <laughs> stop. Stop. That's my bear. Sorry, I just... Welcome to the Archer's Choice. Hey, this week, we're, uh, well, a little different. The posse guys. Yeah, you know, Art and Randy. Randy Brander and Art Helen, Mr. Incredible. You know that? Did you ever see that cartoon? I thought you called him Shrek. Well, no, but... That cartoon, he's, I mean, the guy's got okay. anyway, no waste, but whoosh. They're, they're, they're up just, near high level, and, oh. hunting black bear. Yeah, and they, they had they, a they, blast. They, they got into some color phase and Randy everything. got his first color that well, he's don't been... don't tell everyone everything. Let's just get into the footage and get it going. They were up with the Ultimate Outdoors. Okay. And, I mean, they had a blast. And okay, can he, we get the footage rolling? Just shut, 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 shut. You know, you okay. see what i got to deal Let's with? Let's go. 24 Roll seven. that beautiful bear footage. We're up here in northern Alberta bear hunting with uh, Ultimate Outdoors guide and outfitter, Lenny Granch. Lenny, what can you tell us about the camp you got here? Well, basically we have two different camps that we operate. Uh, the one up here in uh, northern Alberta, uh, close to high level, has uh, wall tents. We have a separate facility for, um, for eating home cooked meals. We have a hot shower. Tents accommodate uh, two hunters per tent, so it's a little more comfortable. Uh, we have uh, cots with foamies to sleep on. And the other camp we have, which is just west of Edmonton, as uh, log cabins with hot showers, self-contained, a um, little more amenities for those who don't want to rough it quite as much. And the comfort level looks pretty pretty nice around here, so uh, I think we'll enjoy ourselves for the week. Uh, what can we expect for the week's hunt? Well, the uh, the bait sites that we've got are cooking pretty good. We've got some really good bear. Uh, last week the guys did uh, really really well, and my expectations for you guys for this week are very very high. Um, I mean, see, the weather's been uh, pretty decent, so uh, we should do really well. How about color phases? I'm kind of looking for a little color phase. Well, it's funny you should ask that. Uh, we've been seeing more and more color phase here all the time. And uh, one of the places that uh, I, I want to put you in has been seeing a really, really nice cinnamon bear, and hopefully it's, uh, it's going to cooperate and we'll well, get that, that on film. That, that sounds you never interesting. Know, right? but there's lots of blacks and uh, some different color phases as well. Blonde, chocolates. Good. I'm looking forward to the week, Lenny. Oh, well, we are too. I've sure got have a, a few other time. guys in camp. I think we'll have a good time. Go grab a snack. Archer's Choice will be back in two minutes. Now let's get back to Randy Brander's hunt near High Level, Alberta. Did you see the color of that bear? I mean, it's cinnamon with dark brown legs. Wow, beautiful bear.
Did you see that bird? Awesome bird. Awesome bird. Awesome bird. Long time for that one. Oh man. And there's a big black out here yet. He's down here. I bet you he's not 40 yards. Oh man. I am pumped. Totally pumped. We ain't got much tracking to do here on my bear, so I think we'll uh, just get right in on them and check them out. Bear should be right up here. Yeah, it's more lucky if it was 40 yards. Holy smokes. Well, Len, you sent us to a, a site that you said there was a color phase, and sure enough, there was. Beautiful color phase, too. I'm not quite sure what this color is. It's like a, a cinnamon chocolate or yeah it's cinnamon on the on the back and then the legs turn into a sort of a, a, a brown and then chocolate at the bottom it's it's a pretty unique bear beautiful yeah. hide very mature it's uh, it's going to make a, a beautiful full mount uh, I just can't ask for much more in a bear beautiful yeah, any, anybody would be proud to have this bear uh, so how long did you wait for it to come in just a couple of hours and perfect perfect broadside shot so let me tell you, take it from a guy who, who knows. Len does the job. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hope to see you again. It's a color. Wearing your bear. You know it's pretty easy. A lot of times what the guys will do in camps, they'll turn around and they'll say, okay, they take the fresh hide and they stretch it real far. The true way to do it is, look, Vic, you grab it there. From nose to tail, okay? Mm -hmm. And then from pad to pad. And what we have here is six, six and six, or I'm sorry, five, six, and six foot, so you're looking about a bear that's gonna go about eh, five, eight. Now, now I have one thing to say though. Yes. Okay, this was actually one of my bears. Yes. Okay, but I have your bear, so do you wanna measure that one out? Here you go, this was your color phase you took. Do you wanna go ahead, measure it out? Stick around. More Archer's Choice coming up right after this. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Hey, let's check out Mr. Incredible, Art Helen, as he gets a shot at his first color bear.
Yeah, baby. Yeah. That is an awesome color phrase. Hey, baby. It's down right there. We, we tried to come in and sneak in on that bear earlier. We had to get up here. That bear made a circle around us. It's probably been, I don't know, half hour, 40 minutes. Finally that bear came back in. Still kind of nervous. Give me that shot. It's down right over there. Man, is that exciting. That is my first collar phase. Just a beautiful collar. Oh, thank you, Randy. Thank you. Thank you, Len. This is awesome. I know this bear took off this way, but I don't think there's gonna be much track in here. Cause you could see it down from the stand. Just down right here. You know, this is my first color phase bear. It's a pretty bear. The hide on this thing is gorgeous. It's a, uh, don't quite know what color it is but it's uh it's kind of a cinnamon blonde it's um it's pretty you know len's got the bears um we came in here and this bear was on a bait and tried to put a stalk on it and it didn't happen came back half hour later or so and um gave his shot opportunity and it's uh, like i said the the colors on this bear are just gorgeous You know, one of the things is when you see these bears coming up, you're in a stand and these bears come up to your tree and they start to climb. A lot of people, some of people, you know, panic and think that that bear's coming to eat you. Well, he really isn't. When a bear comes into a bait site and sees something up there, they can't really make it out. They believe that it's another subordinate bear. So what he does is he knows already that that bear is afraid of him. He comes up to investigate. That is the only reason why they're not coming to yank you out of your, you know, your Amer step tree stand and start eating you. All they're doing is coming in, they see you up there and they automatically know that you're subordinate. So next time, let them get close. Keep that channel locked right here for more Archer's Choice. Welcome back to Archer's Choice. Now let's join posse member Art Helen as he goes after his big black bear. Now you see the size of this black bear? Can you imagine if Ralph was this tall and had this much hair?
we've been waiting for this bear. And I gotta thank Randy. I'm supposed to be filming Randy right now. This bear came in. Randy said, you wanna shoot him, Mark? Means I've only shot one bear. I said, yeah, I'd love to have the opportunity. So I thank you, Randy. That was awesome. I mean, these, we've had three bears in here all night going around and it's still early. So it looked like a good shot. He went up and I thought I saw him pile up up here, but I can't be sure because the adrenaline's flowing right now, baby. So that was awesome. I don't think he's the biggest bear in the world, but to me, he's awesome. Oh, yeah. There he is, right over there. He's got that really neat white throat patch on him, and he just, uh, I couldn't resist it. So, it's awesome. I guess we got to get him out of here and actually go find Len and uh, give him the news and get back in here and get this bear out of here. So now the work begins. Hey, they did awesome. That was cool. Randy Art got Randy, his color. Go. You know, already got his color. I mean, you can't ask for nothing better than that. No, they, and, and Ultimate they had outdoors. They, they did a heck yeah, of a Yeah, Lenny, great bear man, hunt. he. He did good for them, huh? Yeah, you know, I'm surprised, like I said before, that they didn't close Canada down having those two together. Yeah, the two of them traveling together, that'd be a scary sight. Ooh, bad, yeah, bad ugly. News, bad news. But they did a great job. Congratulations, they guys, did. on those bears. That was awesome. You know, and thanks thanks to Bullseye, you know, they put it together for us again, yes. once again. And the guys found a great, another great bear camp up in Alberta. So anyway. I guess we have to give George and Russ some credit again. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It's tough to okay, do. Okay, George Russ, thanks mm. for putting us together with that. Oh, well, what are you going to do? I know. Hey, we want to thank you all for sharing this hunt with us. And we want you to come back next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on The, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.